Fireball, what are you saying? Yes, sir. With the Christmas thing, right? Um, everything has an origin. The, mm-hmm. the, the origin of Christmas has nothing to do with Christianity. Um, anyone who's read the Bible knows Christmas is not mentioned in the Bible. Uh, there's no clear date of the birth of Jesus. Uh, there's no mention. Jesus never mentioned anyone to celebrate his birthday with buying people things that they already had, right? So, um, as we celebrate Christmas now, the origins obviously start um, with a thing called, how do you say it? Saturnalia? Yes, yeah, Saturnalia, yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Saturnalia, right? And um, from what I understand, that's more just a, a celebration of agriculture, God. Yeah, Greek. A Greek agriculture guy during those times and as most celebrations back then you know they celebrated with much like we do today funny enough you know gluttony drunkenness you know only different with them they had the public nudity in there which we don't we don't we don't people don't run around naked <coughs> but um one of the most important I believe uh, transitions in the celebration of the holiday is with our bridge and Constantine um, when he he transitioned his empire into a Christian empire, but strategically, which made sense, he was a very uh, strategic man. He had to maintain some of the pagan holidays to keep people kind of calm, you know. And these are one of the holidays that he maintained. And the, the 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 funny thing is that after even creating the picture or the imagery of Jesus, which was done in 325 AD in in in, in Rome, no matter of fact, not even in Rome in Nice. It's funny enough, um. It's 11 years after that, since since Constantine, Constantine decided that this Christmas, this Christ Mass festival needed to start. Because 336 AD is the year that they start Christmas. And you, you know what's, what? What I found disturbing is that not disturbing, but <clears throat> I guess weird is that even though he, because um, I know he did it for political reasons, right? Yes, sir. But he didn't convert to Christianity until, or baptize, convert to Christianity until 337. For those who don't know the backstory, the man was about to go to a war. He had a vision of a cross in the sun. He felt it was Jesus telling him something. And he actually won the battle. Then after that, he converted his entire empire. It, 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 it even greater than that, though, because, all right, because his, his, fear, his fear was always, you know, the fear of Rome is always of Jesus Christus. True. Jesus Christus is the man who shook the Roman Empire and went to war with the Roman Empire and was seen as, as like a god to the people because this man rebelled against the Empire as a revolutionary. So in 325 AD, you know, Constantine himself decided to change the whole image of this individual and turn this man from like a Jesus Christus to, to, the, to a Jesus and everybody who know who know the, the whole uh, beginnings of Jesus know that J didn't even exist till 500 years ago so the actuality of this man called Jesus is probably not not even true at all because there's no proof of this man being in existence because the name itself directly Jesus did not exist the name could never exist because the letter didn't exist so it must have been something else so should we call Constantine? Should we strip Edward Bernays uh, with the title of Father of Propaganda and give it to Constantine? Edward Bernays now have nothing on Constantine <laughs> <laughs> because this seems like you know this seems like some some skillful you get what I'm saying skillful uh, public relations the man just dealt with right there. Of course, and the funniest thing, one of the funniest things is anybody know of Rome really realize that Rome one of the biggest season in Rome is um the christmas season which before even before the term christmas was there they have some they had some midwinter festivals that 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 kept all throughout rome and they celebrated different activities activities that were not so pleasant and 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 it's so funny that during this midwinter um festi- festivities is when they chose to even add the whole christmas festivities fire how you feel that christians all right, so I don't want to say full-blown Christians, Christians and Christian-minded people, because people may um, not consider themselves Christians, but they are Christian-minded in regards to how they live their life. Thank you. How do you feel ones who celebrate something so heavily that's not mentioned in their, their guidebook? <laughs> I call the Bible the guidebook. The Remember, guidebook most, the, 
I just feel like these people are brainwashed, <laughs> brainwashed because and, and then they just follow tradition. So my majority of people are brainwashed and majority of people are, are totally ignorant of the whole fuck because they just they just go with what they were taught. So for me, major I don't I don't necessarily feel any way I just feel like I need to enlighten them about what the actuality is. <laughs> because even all right, even all right, I can understand a person that doesn't go to church and celebrates Christmas, right? Because it's tradition. And we understand mm-hmm. that but what about those who actually celebrate it in church so therefore and and they just they, they act like it's almost biblical because it has it has nothing to do with the bible well first you have to realize majority of people who confide in the bible don't read it so you can't true. take first off they don't even know that it's not there in the first place true so that is one of the major things and and the pastor in his in his as in, in the whole aspect realized that contribution goes up within this season so why would he even tell them it's not in there <laughs> <laughs> because why why the department store uh increasing sales he increasing donations during the season right of course fire yeah. and, and 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 the funniest the funniest thing is that if if if, if they really realize the whole origin of this thing it would even make a difference still in the fire because they're so caught up and this is a season that makes them feel jolly and happy so they wouldn't even stop all right i'm glad you brought up jolly and happy right the origins of the Brajan santa claus as we know him as we know santa claus now that is more a creation of coca-cola that image Oceant. but uh going back to the origin we have saint nicholas during the fourth century in greek uh greece he was there um he was known as he was known for numerous things but i believe the 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 tie-in to the person that we have coming through the chimney ties in with him giving donations to men whose daughters could not get married and i guess back during that time if you'd um there was no diary or something for you to get married they would be forced into prostitution yeah exactly yeah because that was the that that was one of the major things in greece is that if that couldn't happen then the prostitution would be the only road for females yeah so all right that's his story then you have a next breaker now from um amsterdam called santa claus santa claus yes, so right. now that's the origin we have because our modern santa claus is saint nick santa claus comes from the santa claus but the image now was created in 1930 by the breaker called fred mazane for coca-cola so that's why we know the plump white guy um that uh the children are pressured to sit on the lap and take pictures with <laughs> red fire <clears throat> so the, the 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 main issue now we, we just want to give the people a brief background but the real disturbing <laughs> issue about christmas is the debt people take on because if you if your ears are open you don't have to talk to people but you hear it all the time like oh i don't have any money now it's christmas season it's christmas, christmas season. season yeah um there was a uh um study by gallup that showed that um the average american spends 925 dollars on christmas now please remember the average american is already in debt so they add into the debt that they have the debt that they take on during the, the christmas season usually takes them three months half said it takes them three months to pay off 29 percent says it takes them uh six months to pay off now right hmm tambourine season after that you know, <laughs> tambourine season come after that because when the whole christmas season the blow of and so much money spent between that period january to march when the year just when the when the gregorian calendar just start you get to realize say, it's a whole heap of people in a debt and have to pay about this and pay about that and them cry about it but yet still when it comes to the whole um the down in a fall you see a lot of people um gearing up to spend and they realize that they realize that tambourine season come every year and wouldn't even stop the habit and 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 this is my thing with the christmas you know we encourage people to question the things that they do because one it's to, it's a total demonstration of financial illiteracy for you to go into debt for christmas now the purchase that are made right they're not made you're not buying stuff that is needed and and then again see, see even there i mentioned the corporate or it benefit the corporate structure most people they even think of stop and think about it. black people are the people who have the biggest spending power i don't i don't even know if i should call it spending power or spending weakness and black people i would are go more with spending week they say spending power but there's no power in it because we just get the money away we're not doing anything to develop ourselves or grow yeah. so we need to re we need to retitle that uh mistitled term and, and say spending weakness weakness exactly 
and and if, if most of this money is spent, we know that it's black people spending the most of it. And when it, in regards to income and revenue, black people generate the least. So this is another way again to 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 keep black people in debt, and so that they can be at the bottom of the social ladder. People need to wise up and use their money differently. First of all, we need to move away from these holidays, yo, straight, because most of these things don't need to be in the household. I speak to many people, yes, depending on their family situation and where they are with their woman. Um, they struggle to kind of hold firm and, 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 you know, set the standard. But the standard had to be set because, check it, you're telling me if you have $900, right, and you have money on your credit card. No, you don't have $900, that is, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> you're going to add 900 to $1,000 on your credit card. It makes no sense. Fire for what? To buy more junk around the house? And we know strategically the psychological game they play with new items. Yes, it gives you fulfillment for maybe the first day of 48 hours, but after that, it's gone. And exactly. you just have another thing sitting around the house. You have another pair of jeans. The children have another toy. A majority of parents feel feel they they have they, they have a grave disappointment in their children. Are the children look not 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 going to look on them if they don't fulfill the Christmas list? No, that's the that's the sadistic part. <laughs> because they really feel down because they can't provide. But what are they providing? Christmas actually connected to depression, as mentioned before, because if if the wish is not fulfilled, then then people go into a depressive state. Uh, you're down and in the ground and fell away. Yeah. Of course. And it also shows that without the aspect of buying, parenting cannot be seen as, as a good job. But here go the wild thing too is that we're so far gone and so selfish fire and so self-centered that a man don't even always say, you know what, let me give things say, you know what, I'm eating every day or I have a place to stay. We're so True. gone from that. The majority of the world, I have nowhere to stay. No shoes, no nothing. No access to clean water. But here we are with all these things and we still feel away because you didn't get the newest item. So therefore we warp mentally, yeah. Truth be told, yeah. We kinda gone mentally because uh we're so entitled and so ungrateful. True. Because I'm a man I have to check myself about these things certain times, yo, because at certain times it's like boom, we wanna go into certain things. But I say, what can I complain about? Yeah, give thanks another day because another day means means more 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 fight again to for fight the system and burn down the whole oppressive state of mind, you know. You know, so the thing is, I think Christmas holiday really, really supposed, re, I guess how they market it, not what it's really supposed to be, but they marketed it as a uh, a holiday of giving thanks and this, but it's not really not that fire. It's a holiday of selfishness, yeah. You know, and cause them not really getting thanks at all in a holiday. They just know, them just know, say it, it, it tied to spending. Then again, even the, the whole concept of giving thanks for them tied to spending. So you realize how, how much consumerism plays a role in the mindset of the people again. Uh, big time, and, 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 and ones of African descent. We need to wise up, you know. We need to wise up and ease off these holidays because. The Thanksgiving. I mean, Go ahead. What the item said, Dr. Karinga, them build a thing called Kwanzaa, we show we can show you certain African principles and, and teachings. People replace the whole, the whole aspect of Christmas, and it's not so centered around consumerism, but more more around the, the red, black, and the green, and Umoja is human u, unity amongst the people of African descent, you know, and certain words in Kwanzaa is Swahili, so it teaches you African roots too, so. That's even a replacement that many people could try. But here go, here go, here go the part that tickle my tummy about that. Mm -hmm. You have one that cuss you about Kwanzaa talking about, oh, a man created it, right? Mm -hmm. So I say fire, a man ain't create Christmas. <laughs> Constantine, so them right, so, so many people choose. No, because the European made it, that's why. The Europe, that's uh, why, uh, that's why the European made it. That's why it's, that's why it's more acceptable. Of Any, course. Anything a black man make. I have no value to it, and, and most never even cite up Kwanzaa properly and analyze it. Exactly. You know that the whole thing, cause people feel is just like, oh, oh, I'm just following the whole no, but it's bigger than that because several can, you know that call like, every single one of that represent a concept. Even the whole aspect of of alliance is is there African alliance where the Sankofa signs are used from 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 Accra, Ghana. All of them are very powerful principles that we need and can be demonstrated. And it's just an alternative. I'm not telling ones to celebrate Kwanzaa, but it's an alternative to move away from the, 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 the corporate uh, European brainwashing thing. You know, and ones need to give more credence to things created by their own people. 
and get away because any i'm telling you the thing's sick yo any anything a man make is is a is supposedly is of a lower standard than than when the next man make it and we need to get away from that because that's, that's that's just the, the the epitome of this black inferiority and this brainwashing exactly yeah. too because it's funny, it funny enough if 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 majority of of I and I people were to see a one from Kemet or who follow Kemetic traditions um celebrating the the, the, the sun god and and also giving credence credence to the whole um season of the winter solstice these people would, would say that they are following them in christmas not realizing that the whole aspect of christmas was even taken from from them taken from the original people it gave it where where, where they meant where they worship the sun because that, that's the day between the um they say it's the shortest um time period between the sunrise and the sunset yeah and most people would, would even realize that these were the origins that their celebration came from because everybody knows you know, the story of osiris um osiris acid and and all of these different ones in kemet was where they they, they, they they built even the concept of different jesus walking on the water that was already done in kemet so it's different principle again they they, 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 t- they took from people's tradition or stole from people's tradition to come and bring to theirs a serious thing but fire we truly give thanks for the reasoning <laughs> you know every time yeah. we hope ones get some little insight on these holidays and 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 um can make better decisions and even if it's not this year it's next year they can strengthen up themselves and make a a better decision for themselves to do away with mindless consumption to do away with the follow fashion you know and and and, and be a uh a, a individual you yes, say all right serious we give thanks ones Thank you so much for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like.